Hi there, everybody. Alex here. Let me show you one trick that I uh, started doing in VS Code. I'm recording some course for Udemy. That's beside the point of this uh, video today. But let me show you how you can really automate a lot of stuff with the with the AI, with the Copilot today, with the Copilot edits. Really awesome stuff. So let me just give you a context. So I'm creating some boiler, boilerplate repository. And as you can see, I have a simple dummy button component that has an index file. It has the types, just the props. It has some tests that I generated using AI and has a story, right? So if we actually go over here, uh, you can see I have a button and that's really it. And then we have some passing tests over here, right? And that's great. Now, what you can do now with the edits, which is amazing, you can really uh, give it some context and generate any other component. Let me show you. And keep in mind, this is how I structure all my React components. So each component has a story, has a test, has types, has the component itself and or any other file. So let me show you now how you can really make any other component off of this. So you can open your uh, Copilot edits and you give it a context, right? You, you give, I, I will give these four files to the AI. So it has the context of what I want. So I'm gonna give it this and I'm gonna say something like, all right, uh, given uh, the uh, files, uh, given uh, the button component that I gave you access to, generate a, let's say, uh, an accordion component with the same file structure and same context, right? So now if I do this, we're going to see for a second, because this is an O1 preview uh, LLM model from OpenAI. I have access to this because my company is paying for my uh, OpenAI. You'll see that it's going to be a little bit slower. It's going to take a couple of seconds. But right now, actually, what it's going to do, it's going to generate the files for me. And we will actually check it out together in the storybook. So let's actually see how cool it is, how efficient it is in, in, in this context. But as, as you can see, if you've been writing at least front end code for a longer period of time, if you remember some of the tooling that we had maybe 10, 15 years ago, like Yeoman or whatever, you know, you had some sort of a template for each component. This is kind of similar with the exception that this actually writes code for you. So I'm saying, hey, take, this is how I write my components. So please generate another component with all of these things in there. As you can see, boom, it actually did it. So it now generated four files for me. If I actually go here, we can see there's a accordion. Let's review that code and see if it makes any sense. So it generated a very uh, simple story. It generated some tests, it generated a, a, a component, which is, uh, hmm, yeah, uh, not so great, but we didn't give it much context, but it's really, uh, it did generate it after all, right? So let's accept these changes. So I'm going to go to the uh, uh, Copilot edits here. I'm going to say, yeah, that looks great. So, and then we're going to go and file and save all. And then let's go to our storybook and see if this actually worked. And as you can see, it actually did. So that's pretty awesome, right? But let's actually try to prompt it more. Okay, so let's go back to the edits and say, that's great, but can we design accordion a bit better? maybe use some nicer tailwind classes, etc. Again, very, very low context, like I, what is better, right? What, which classes? So, of course, uh, if you don't give it any context, it's, it's not going to do well, but I'm actually trying to test it without telling it much. Of course, uh, as an engineer, you will want to, to, to tell it something meaningful, right? I want it to look like this. I want it to look like that, right? So right now I'm intentionally doing this just to see if it's going to actually fail or if it's going to do something well. Let's see. Let's see what it did. So right now it did this, but it has only changed this file now, right? So if I actually accept this, that's great. But I suspect now that my tests would fail, right? So if I run the test, actually tests are still passing because maybe it probably didn't write a test for this. So actually, if we get back here, boom, here we go, actually. So it did better, right? It did better considering I didn't tell it anything. Can I just say now, can you please uh, update the test and write few more tests? Okay. Let's see what is it going to do. So as you can see, it's... Uh, unlike the previous model, or not to even to mention the free models, it's actually kind of thinking under quotes. So it's doing something, right? I don't know if they have some agents or whatever in the background, but it's actually not instantly spitting out things, right? As you can see, it's thinking a little bit, it's generating, so it's doing something uh, meaningful. So if you go to the test file here, actually, it did generate a couple more tests, actually two more, right? 
So if we accept this, let's try to run them and see if they actually work. And actually they've passed. Let's see what it did. So it created a snapshot, so that's fine. It closes content when clicked again, so according content, render this, click on this title to be in the document. So this is actually pretty amazing. So this is something that I just discovered. I think it's pretty awesome, as you can see. We just, so essentially what you do, you give it the uh, your perfect world, your own component, your own structure, how you like it. And now think about how powerful this is. You could give it your API resource. You could give it really anything and say, hey, based on this schema, based on this blueprint, generate now something that looks like this. I think this is absolutely fantastic. Give it a shot. And if you like the video, please like it and leave a comment. If you have any other tips, please leave them in the comments below. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one. Bye-bye.